Welcome back to No Pants Profits. It is Tuesday, November 2nd, and my name is Richard, and we have yet another IPO for you. Today, we are looking at a new one that I do have some familiarity with. Just popped up in Robinhood this morning. Final S1 came out. It is called Back Blaze. Uh, why I have some familiarity with it is I do work, well, I did work in the, in the IT space before, specifically on cruise ships, and this is for backup software. Essentially, this is a, a backup software company that does backup software. They, they specialize in personal and corporate backups of your data. This is a company I've dealt with before, a company I've heard with before, a company I've personally and professionally done business with before, but I've never looked at their financials. So it did just pop up in the Robinhood IPOs access section. If you don't know how to get there, you just go ahead and you go like you're going to search and search IPO access and you'll get it right there you'll see it's little friends expensify nerd wallet and all birds which we've already taken a look at but let's go ahead and let us take a look at Backblaze. Uh, let's just read what they do according to Robinhood real quick. A cloud storage and data backup company offering scalable B B2, so business cloud storage and computer backup solutions targeted at both business and personal markets. Listed name for uh, is BLZE for Black Bays and Black Base Incorporated, and they are expected to IPO on 11.11, which today is 11.2, so 11.11 would be next week. Now, I'm not going to put in anything uh, yet. Let's let's take a look at the numbers. Uh, let's take a look at their website. Let's take a look at the numbers. Uh, I did pull up their website. I did pull up their S1 form, and I did pull up a cute little video that kind of gives you a little bit more of a perspective into the company. So I found this, which was kind of funny, Storage Pod Dominoes. So what they do is they provide server and backup solutions to individuals and businesses. So this just shows a little sense of humor that they have over at Black Flags. You know what? They look like a bunch of fun-loving nerds, so why why, why wouldn't you love them? This is their website. Uh, so they have business storage, business backup, and personal backups. So the business cloud storage is they'd actually send you a device, you'd fill it with your data, and then they'd store it in the cloud. Business backup would be a remote backup and personal backup. So you know, if we click just to kind of take a look at what they do, this is what I've worked with them before in doing backups on, uh, on information. Can't really go much further than that. Uh, you know, and NAS and computer backups. So if you do look right here, uh, it's not it's hard to move, but I have a whole NAS or network attached storage device right there. But say this room here that I was in, my man cave were to light on fire, that wouldn't be backed up. The whole goal behind Backblaze is that it backs up all of your data that is necessary to the cloud. So uh, that's their business backup solutions and then personal backup solutions. If you want to back up your PC or Mac, it's just $7 a month to back up the machine. Kind of an interesting concept if your backups go bad, if different things go bad. Um, you've got a full backup, and I could say try it for free, but if I look at the pricing, $7 monthly, $70 yearly. Wow. So like this computer I'm working on right here has four terabytes of storage, so... In theory, I can back up four terabytes of storage for $70 a year or $130 every two years. Hey, that's interesting. That might be something I will take a look at later. But I think now it's time to go directly to the S1 form. So this is the form that companies that want to go public file with the Securities and Exchange Commission. It's kind of like a quarterly report, but it's for the previous two years. And if there's a portion of a year, uh, the previous quarters of the year that they can account for. Uh, and we're going to be taking a look at Backblaze. So let's make myself a little bit smaller. Let's see where they're based out of. San Mateo, California, another tech company. Uh, and we believe uh, B, what is the, 
B-L-Z-E is going to be the abbreviation for Backblaze. Like I said, I have worked in this space before in technology and in computer backups, so I do, I will know a lot of the terms that might be here, I would assume. Uh, so here is Backblaze. Back, class A common stock, 6.25 million shares. So they're trying to raise a um, proposed maximum offering, 122 million. That's at $17 a share. So we shall see what's going on. Again, uh, they have... Not as big companies, well, J.P. Morgan, Raymond James, Oppenheimer, those are big companies. We make it astonishingly easy to store, use, and protect data. So the whole idea is it's kind of like a Dropbox for your whole computer. You install it on your computer, and your computer will just back up everything directly to Backblaze, and you don't have to worry about it. You know, they have 500,000 customers and 70,000 B2 storage customers and 430,000 computer backups. Kind of interesting how, you know, they they have less computer backups than they do customers. Um they have 65 million in ARR, which is annual recurring revenue. So meaning every year they're getting at least 65 million pretty consistently. People need computer backups, even during COVID, especially when people are at home using their work computers and things like that. It becomes very important to have computer backups uh, and 32% year over year revenue growth. So They've actually grown 23% uh, in the computer backup space. So, you know, people are at home. They're not taking their laptops out as much. So not growing as much. And 66% um, in the in the uh, business backup rate. So kind of interesting. Uh, and when we're talking about ARR, that is important. And what they're saying is they are growing 10% of their NRR per year. So their net recurring revenue. Uh, this is a subscription service. So you're paying a subscription to be part of the Backblaze company here uh and they have less than three million now greater than three million in uh outside equity investments and a seven million dollar net loss 4.9 out of five stars on Glassdoor, and more than uh more than uh, three million blog readers annually so customers these are some of the big customers that they're actually working with here APT, Gladstone, I'm looking for big ones that we've heard of before. So they're not working with the huge boys. You're not seeing Coke, you're not seeing Pepsi, you're not seeing Microsoft, Apple. They use different backup solutions. So this is kind of a SMB solution. If we were talking about, uh, what were we, we were talking about? I gotta find the other IPO. We we're talking about Expensify. They're not going for the SAP Concur customer, but they're going for the SMB customer, the small and medium business customer, which there's a lot more of, and overall they make up a lot more volume, but they're they're not the peak of that uh, of that mountain, if if you're talking mountain. But it does look like from what we're seeing that they are losing some money. So. A summary, our mission, data store, data is the world's most precious resource. Our mission is to make storing, using, and protecting that data astonishingly easy. Very simple. We're a leading storage and cloud platform providing business and consumers cloud services to store, use, protect their data in an easy, affordable manner. We provide these cloud services through purpose-built web-scale software infrastructure. So essentially, it backs up your entire computer. It's something I may try once we, uh, once we finish this video here, you know. At its founding, BlackBase set up to simplify the process of storing, using, and protecting data. Over the years, we focused on relentlessly cutting away the complexity of cloud vendor services, legacy of on-premise systems. Today, our solutions are differentiated by their ease of use and affordability. I think, if I remember, I've used it before. You just install a little app on your computer, if it's a personal computer or even a business computer, and it just backs up to their cloud automatically. If I look at my computer right now, uh, I did just get a rather new machine. I have the new MacBook Pros, uh, and I am using... 30, uh, 367 gigabytes out of four terabytes of available storage right there. So I can back up those 367 gigabytes to BlackBase for uh, for $7 a month. So BlackBase computer back. Okay, so BlackBase B2B, B2 cloud storage enables customers to store data, developers to build applications, partners to expand and use cases. The amount of data stored in this cloud service can scale up and down as needed, and it's a pay-as-you-go basis. So that's how businesses are doing, and then you've got computer backup. Automatically backs up data from laptops and desktops for businesses and individuals. This cloud service offers easily understood flat rate pricing, continued backup of virtually unlimited amount of data. So if I got four terabytes on my computer, I've got four terabytes of cloud storage for less than Dropbox or iCloud or anybody's going to give me. So 
that might be something interesting. Uh, it's design, okay. Public cloud adoption has been rapid in the transformation for a wide range of companies. However, the market is demanding alternatives to traditional diversified public cloud vendors for multiple reasons. These public cloud vendors have increasingly focused on the largest enterprises, resulting in significant complexity of their products, like I said, and leaves behind the mid-market businesses, the SMB, the small to medium business, due to their walled garden approach. These public cloud vendors have made it expensive for customers to use their data in a multi-cloud and hybrid cloud developments, while other independent platforms. Additionally, these diversified public cloud vendors increasingly compete with their customers and partners for an ever-widening range of industries. Black Bay's Back Blaze, on the other hand, is designed to fulfill a major unmet market needs, particularly among medium market businesses by providing straightforward cloud storage offerings. So businesses don't need a giant box like this right here. I, the monitor's blocking it, but I have a Synology RAID with about... Uh, 8 plus 5, 13 disk in it. So I've got 13 disk, and this is about 120 terabytes of storage right here on this RAID. So they are defining the organizations they're going for for companies with 10 to 999 employees. So that's that's the goal. They have a highly efficient go-to-market model, which is built on that. Substantially, all of our revenue is... Yay! All of our revenue is recurring in nature. And this has been before even the... Uh, the big the big boys got on the whole, hey, our, our shareholders like recurring revenue. They're going into this game with recurring revenue. That's the important thing to understand. You know, they're going into the game with recurring revenue that use their cloud. So they went evidenced by an overall net revenue retention rate of 113 and 114%. So they are adding 13, 14% users. They're losing some here and there, but they not only is the revenue growing, but the ARR, the average recurring revenue, is growing as well. Uh, our, so our, our B2 cloud storage revenue, which is just businesses sending data to clouds, uh, grew by 66%, and computer backups grew by 23%. I think they have a lot of growth, but I'm not sure they have a lot of profits yet, you know. So that's that's in the years that ended, enable us now in the future to succeed. So evident significant growth we have achieved. We have incurred, okay. We incurred net losses of $1 million and $6.6 .6 million for December 19th, uh, for December 31st, 2019, and 2020, respectively. Uh, as of June 30th, 2021, our annual recurring revenue was $64.8 million, and they had net losses of $6.1 million for the six months that ended. So they were hit pretty bad by the pandemic uh, overall because they have lost, if we compare these numbers here, let me scroll up so we can compare these numbers. For the year of 2020, they lost 6.6. .6, and for the half of the year of 2021, they lost $6.1 million. So interesting. Okay, so data storage. Again, people want to have things backed up. Back places so you don't have to carry around. I don't even know if I, oh, I do have. You don't have to carry around one of these. These are kind of the ev evolution of them. Little external hard drives. These are little S Samsung. This is a two terabyte here, but I can back up two terabytes of data and just for scale, Apple Watch hard drive. They've gotten a lot smaller than they used to be. Uh, data is data storage is rapidly expanding, uh, and you know pictures. Pictures, digital pictures used to be one megabyte. Now they're having all this data in it. They're 20, 30, 40, 50 megabytes. One minute of 4K video is a gigabyte. So, you know, that, that's important to understand. Uh, even like if you look at the, the newer iPhones, uh, they're not even allowing you to take certain amount, certain types of video on 128 gigabyte iPhones. You have to have a 256 gig iPhone or better to take certain types of videos on the phone because it's just going to fill the phone up in, in three minutes. So, you know, data is migrating to the cloud. Companies are choosing multi-cloud solutions and demanding alternatives to diversify cloud vendors. Non-specialists are making purchasing decisions and driving demand for easy self-service solution. These small and medium businesses don't have, you know, specialized IT managers that are doing domains and networks and all that other stuff. Like it's, it's, we are in the BYOD revolution. If you're familiar with what that means, that's bring your own device. Go buy a computer, uh, your company will pay you back for it, but they do want to make sure that data is not only secure, which is which is part of the equation that Backblaze is not really solving, but is backed up as well. Developers are driving force for digital transformation and technology section. When apps come out, apps do cool things, and those apps 
useful. Uh, but even they're talking about cybersecurity threats such as ransomware. This is, if you've ever heard of people getting their whole computer locked up and people saying, I want Bitcoin to unlock, give you an unlock code for your computer. Uh, you know, this is what's going on. Cybersecurity threats and ransomware. If you've got a backup of your computer in the cloud, who cares if the computer is completely nuked? So that's the whole idea there. That's what they're trying to say. So here's their platform for cloud services. Again, they've got their storage on the bottom. So this is kind of like a pyramid, not a pyramid scheme, but like a pyramid. So this is where they, Blacklace Cloud Storage is their actual data servers. And they've got the computer setup, uh, computer backup, and the BlackBase V2, which is the business solution for business servers and things like that. Uh, and you've got developers, IT, consumers. You've got them all under that umbrella there. And they're saying their, their server is uh, durable, available, scalable, secure, has performance, precision, and is multi-region. So they're outside of the U.S. as well. Uh, and, you know, they support the Internet of Things, machine learning and artificial intelligence, backup and archive, uh, media, security, content delivery. So they're, they're becoming kind of a CDN, which is what, what is the backbone of the Internet, or at least they're trying to become a CDN, uh, public and hybrid multi-cloud storage. So... Backblaze, okay, so our platform, they have the business storage. It provides customers with direct access to a storage cloud to use and protect their data. This is similar to what uh, Google provides, what Azure provides, what Amazon provides, um, which is Amazon is S3, Google is just Google, and Azure is Microsoft. So, you know, they have a, for medium businesses, they have a cloud solution so you can run your business or your servers in the cloud. But then they also have a way for you, so you can also use it for development, public hybrid multi-channel data storage. So if you're developing an application and you're developing it remotely and you need to move that data around, you can move that data around and move it between people. Content delivery and edge computing, security and ransomware protection. Hey, if your computer gets hacked, as long as your stuff's in the cloud, who cares? Uh, you know, media. So if you have movies that are doing edits and things like that and need to, uh, you know, a lot of movies produce, uh, for example, Thor Love and Thunder is producing in, well, was producing, it's done, uh, was being shot in Australia. And there's a lot of people over in the U.S. that need to look daily at those clips. And those are giant media clips, 4K, 8K, 12K, 3D, IMAX clips. This is a way to actually move them, you know, and it's a replacement for tape. Believe it or not, they actually still record data as a backup where you don't have good internet on tape, magnetic tape, like a VCR tape from back in the day. So, and then a repository for artificial intelligence, analytics, and machine learning, which is kind of an interesting one because you have to have, you have, you have powerful stuff in the cloud. That's how Siri works. I said the word, oh, sorry. I didn't say the, the H-E-Y before it, so we're good. You know, that's how Siri works. That's how Lexi works. That's how, uh, okay, Schmoogle works. Again, I don't want to say the actual words. Uh, so, and then they also have their computer backup, which backs up laptops, desktops, internal hard drives in a continuous and automated fashion, whether a home computer or a business's full fleet of machines. Customers can back up a virtually unlimited number of files without size or speed constraint. This cloud service includes a lightweight agent that runs locally on each com user's computer and continuously searching for new and changed files. So it's kind of like if you were to run on, if you have a Mac or you have a Windows computer, you were to run a backup or an incremental backup on either of those machines. Essentially, that is what this is doing, but it's doing it in the cloud. You know, so the, it's saying Mac and PC backups, ransomware protection, theft, loss and recovery, data archiving, organizing MSP, remote access, so they can get all backed up files remotely through our website. They provide a mobile apps running on iOS and Android to provide customers convenient access from anywhere to their data store with Blackface without requiring the customer to have a lot. Ooh, I like it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to sign up for this. It's not something I'm going to show you in the video, but I will sign up for it and I'll give it a try. I'll give it a free trial. Uh, I did use it years ago. Now, that's when home Internet was not as good with uploading things. Uh, so purpose built for cloud storage, customer acquisition propelled by community driven inbound marketing, our content marketing engine driven by our blog, which has visited more than 3 million readers in 2020 alone, propels our high efficient customer acquisition. So they're saying their customer acquisition costs, the cost to get a customer in is low because they're making content on backing up, avoiding ransomware, avoiding all these other things like that. So they are overall keeping their... Um, they're keeping their customer acquisition costs to get each customer low because even when we're looking at the pricing, I mean, 
you have to have a customer acquisition cost when you're only making $70 a year. Uh, but I'll probably go with two years if I go with that. You know, When you're only making $70 a year, you've got to have a low customer acquisition cost. Frictionless go-to-market models. Uh, customers can quickly test and sign up for our solutions through a self-serve process, which led to over 80% of our revenue in 2020. So people are doing it directly. They don't need a whole sales team and everything like that. You know, After signing up for our products, our customers increasingly rely on the platform, generating, storing, and backing up more data, creating a natural opportunities for selling more stuff. I like it. Uh, Developer-friendly interactive platform. Our API-driven platform was built by developers for developers. Nerds like nerds, love nerds. Uh, efficiently serve the mid-market. SMB, the middle of that, uh, if you remember what we were talking about the other day, kind of the middle of that pyramid, uh, not pyramid, more, more of the mountain. You know, you've got the snow caps on top of the mountain, which are the big companies. They're not serving them. That's Microsoft, Google, Amazon, but they have complex setups. This is serving the small and medium businesses. So and a low cost of total ownership overall. Strong company culture drives performance and results. Trusted with natural hands. Our growth strategy. Okay. This is kind of an interesting one for a company that's losing money, but they're not losing a dramatic amount of money. They're not losing billions. They're not even losing tens of millions. So I'm actually okay with the amount of money they're losing so far. It is a growth company. Uh, a key component of our growth has always been fueled by our content engine, free to test approach and self-serve sign up process, which is exactly what I'm going to do. We might try and do this together. Uh, and search engine optimization, public relations campaign with the goal of growing community and attracting new visitors. Additionally, in recent years, we have begun to invest in a sales assistant selling motion to identify opportunities and increase business with existing customers increase revenue from existing customers so you know our revenue per customer has grown 45 percent since the first quarter of 2019 this revenue expansion potential uh with the stickiness of our platform overall net revenue rotation rate of 114 percent as we discussed earlier uh new solutions and use cases i guarantee you they're going to start backing up phones and You'll see, uh, for example, in 2020, we introduced an S3 capable API. Translate that. In 2020, we started working with Amazon so you could move your stuff to and from Blackblaze and Amazon. So S3 is Amazon's uh, server. Uh, preliminary estimates on audit, on audit financial results. Okay. Again, the losses are not insane. The losses are, they are, they are losing money. But we're talking in millions, uh, so there's nothing super duper actually crazy right there. Um, they lost money. But are they in the tech center sector? And do tech companies trade up even when they're losing money? Tesla, Uber, uh, Netflix back in the day, you know, losing money like crazy. For the three months ended September, we expect to so we expect to report. So they are losing a lot more money. Um, so they're they're losing a lot more money now. This it's primarily due to investing and growing our business and costs related to becoming a public company. So they're saying we're losing more money by trying to go public. That's their claim. Uh, that's my favorite risk factors. We have a history of losses and we don't expect to be profitable for the foreseeable future. The markets in which you participate in are intensely competitive. We don't complete effectively. Our operating results would be harmed. Any significant disruption in our service or loss or delay of ability of our customers' data could damage our reputation. If we're unable to maintain brand, this is all looking very familiar if you watch any of these S1 videos in the past. If we're unable to get new customers, we're screwed. If we're unable to provide successful enhancements, we're screwed. Errors in our software, we're screwed. Uh, Third-party vendors and suppliers, including data center and hard drive providers. So they may not actually run their own data center. We want to read that down. Um, and voting control. Okay. So interesting. They are going to hold the voting control. The dual class structure of our common stock has the effect of concentrating voting control with those stockholders who held our capital stock prior to the completion of this public offering, including our executive officers, employees, directors, and their affiliates, which will limit your ability to influence the outcome of important transactions, including change in control. You can't throw the founders out because all the voting power stays with the founders. Uh, so <laughs> you're kind of like a non-voting uh, non-voting shareholder if you become a part of this. So non-voting shareholder there if you become a part of it. Uh, trademarks, emerging growth companies, so they're not going to have to be audited by the uh, Public Accounting Oversight Board, uh, given the Sarbanes-Oxley Act. Uh, nothing crazy there. 
We can see the offering, 6.25 6 million shares. Uh, and they already have uh, 28 million outstanding with, uh, with people who have already invested in the company, with employees, with founders, with friends of friends, with people who have bought in and all those other things. BLZE is going to be the symbol. And here we go. Here we go. This is uh, showing you know your, your your price per share. They've said clearly that they've lost money. They're losing more money getting ready. So you know risk factors. We have a history of cumulative losses, and we don't expect to be profitable for the foreseeable future. We incurred losses of one million and six point six million for the years ended December thirty first, uh, twenty nineteen, and twenty twenty. Over our fourteen years of operation, we have accumulated a deficit of twenty. 20 million? That's not bad. We cannot guarantee that we will continue operating our business similar to past performance, because remember, past performance is not indicative of future results. We intend to continue scaling our business and increase our customer base and meet increasingly complex needs of our customer. We have invested and expected to continue investing in our sales and marketing organization to sell cloud services around the world and develop. So what they're doing is they were saying that 80% of people signed up on their own. Now they're building a sales team. So... That's the difference there. They're building a sales team. The markets in which they participate in are intensely competitive, and if we do not compete effectively, our operating results would be harmed. Any significant disruption in our service or delay availability of customers' data could damage our reputation and harm our business. Okay. We're unable to obtain a brand reputation. Yep. If we're unable to attract new customers. Again, this document's going to be linked below. If you've got any questions there, you can read through that. But again, they're saying, hey, if we can't make cool stuff, people aren't going to buy it. People aren't going to keep renewing because the, the name of the game is yearly recur annual. ARR, annual recurring revenue, and they're increasing NRR, net recurring revenue. So they can spend as much money as they want. As long as they got money coming in, people will give them debt. And they're not, they're 20 million in debt for a company that's going public. That's actually... That's actually pretty uh, pretty good. You know, material stored using our cloud service may subject to negative publicity. Our quarterly results may fluctuate significantly and may not fully reflect the underlying performance of the business. And let's just see churn fluctuations in data. Because remember, from a what I may sign up for in a minute, uh, that is designed to have it so that uh, I have unlimited as a user, but the businesses that are doing it are actually paying, if they're using it for their business cloud, they're playing per gigabyte, per megabyte, you know, probably per terabyte they're paying, uh, and that's giving an idea, and they're probably paying not only on, you know, what they're putting in, but how much they're moving around as well, much like a website provider. Uh, and they are, again, very... Uh, very uh, reliant on people, qualified personnel going, you know, they don't want their people going to Azure or Amazon or anyone like that. So they got to pay people a little bit more. I think overall, I like it. They're not losing nearly as much data for a tech startup company. For a tech startup company that literally a lot of their main products are these big servers right here. I mean, yes, those are just empty boxes. They're not wasting that much money. Uh, those are just empty boxes, but I, I do kind of like what's going on here. I really like kind of what's going on with Black Blaze here. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, we're an emerging growth company. We've looked at all those things. I think it's time to, to make the decision. They are losing money. Let's be very, very, very... Apologize for that. So they are losing money. So that's that's a very clear thing is that they are losing money, uh, but they're not losing as much money as they should be in the industry that they're in. You know, they're only about 20 million in debt over time, uh, which can be very easily wiped out by this uh, <laughs> by this IPO. And then, hey, no more debt, profitable company. You know, so let's go in. Let's see what we can do. I, I am actually interested after taking a look. I'll agree. I'll let it notify me how allocation works. Eh, let's see what we can put in for. Let's put in for 100 shares there. I like that 100 share number. It's either 1 or 100. Again, when you do this in Robinhood, it's not always going to... Uh, 
it's not always going to give you what you request. Uh, so let me sign up now. I'm going to sign up for a free trial uh, while I'm doing this. So I'll hit review. I don't want to show all my information on the screen. So let me see. Uh... All right, then install backblaze. All right, so let's just go over. I bought it. I want to show you the whole process if you're OK. And it's going to say random allocation. I've got it. I want to try this real quick and kind of show you what is going on. So I did just sign up for Backblaze, a free trial. So what I would do is I would download Backblaze. Let's download him real quick. Next step is to install Backblaze from your downloads folder. Hey, it's already installed. All right. Let me get to the point that I can actually share my entire screen with you. Uh, display capture, left screen. I do apologize. Oh, Inception. All right. So I can actually kind of share the entire screen with you there. And if we're going to install, we should have that installed now. And let's go to Backblaze. Oh, let me see. I have, I went ahead. Okay. We're going to install Backblaze. Let's make sure that everything's working. And this is just going to kind of show you the process of how you would install it on a personal computer. That's my goal here. So again, we'll move this over here. I am hidden right now. Let me make myself unhidden so you can see me a little bit better. I do realize I'm hidden. Okay, so we're going to install Blackface. We will hit install now. Please quit system preferences. OK, weird. I'm installing this on a new Retina MacBook Pro. Going to put in my password. And let's see if it installs. And the goal is this should eventually back up my entire Mac. There we go. Analyzing your drive. So it's looking at my drive, and it's going to actually back up. All of my personal data would be backed up. Photos, music, documents, videos, and more. So your first backup will take a few days or weeks, depending on your internet speed. Don't worry. And it's really kind of cool. So I would have to go ahead, and I would go to my applications. Oop. I'll show you what I exactly I have to do here. What do I need to do? I need to allow full disk access for Backblaze. So again, we will use my fingerprint. And I will give myself for Backblaze full disk access. And it should be good to go. And backup is now in progress. So it is going to be backing up 20,224 files. Uh, <laughs> it's got a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff left. 31,000 megabytes remaining. So that's 31 gigabytes. So you can see it is backing up. It is doing what it needs to do. And that is just how simple it is to set up your computer backing up with Backblaze. We tried it ourselves. So I do like the stock. I do like what's going on. There's a little bit of a look at what is going on there. Um, I like it. I like it. I like it. I put in. 400 shares there. Rich is liking this, and uh, I'm, I'm ready for this IPO. It's coming out on November 11th, which is next week. This is Richard with No Pants Profits Still, reminding you that when you wear no pants, all you got left to lose is your shirt. Got another IPO video coming out soon. I hope to see you around. Have a great one. Bye.